Well, good morning guys. It's the first official day in the new house and first official day in the 2000s series. So last episode, we got the whole farm built. We got the machine shed, we got the bins, got some equipment bought. But today, April 3rd, we have $834,000 and we're gonna head on down to Deer, buy some equipment most likely to get started planting. And first, before we do that, well, I cook breakfast, but then gotta hop on the Apex Game PC and check grain prices quick this morning. Okay, this is weather for McGregor. I need to get to grain prices, not that tab. Okay, December 2023, cash grain prices, 507. We're 63 cents under on basis. Oh my gosh, they must have a lot of grain there. Ready to sell come fall. Okay, so 507 for corn, that's not too bad. I don't think we need any forward contract any right now. Maybe in the future we'll have to. We gotta get going. We gotta unhook this trailer. So I'm gonna put the trailer back there, but then we're gonna be on down to Holland and Sons down there at the dealer, probably stopped by the John Deere dealer. And then if you go across the river over in Wisconsin, there's actually a, a used Case IH dealer that shouldn't be, should be a pretty nice dealer. So we're gonna have to stop by over there too. For now, I'm just gonna put this trailer around back, right there. This is kind of our like trailer storage yard in the grass back here. And then we also got Nate. So Nate's gonna be working for us full time on the farm. He's just our nephew and he's Buck and me's nephew, which is weird because Buck's Buck runs the dealership, so this is going to be really, really awkward a little bit because we're going to be negotiating with Buck, even though, yeah, it, it's going to be a little strange. Nate, how are you doing today? Doing good. You want my new truck back there? You bought a new truck? Hold up. Yeah. You got a real man's truck, a Ford. Yeah. I got rid of that dang Chevy, and so now I actually have a real good truck. Is that a diesel? Yes, sir. Gosh dang, dually. Flatbed. Oh, oh this is yeah. Gonna be, oh, you got the fifth wheel on there. You got a camper? No. I got a fifth. I got a fifth wheel trailer over there in the house I live at. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, let's go to the deer dealer. Cause you know I picked up a second job, right? Where at? The Case IH dealer, part time. Over in Wisconsin. Yep. What's that Case dealer called? Uh, Titan Machinery. Oh, it's a Titan. It's a Titan dealer. Okay. You got your seatbelt on? Nah. No cop. No. No need. Okay. <laughs> Hold on there, man. There may be a little bit of a need now. There may be a need. <laughs> oh, hey, <not> there. <laughs> Green light, green light, stale green, and we made it. This is kind of fun though. I like these lights, how they turn. Oh no, no I don't, no I don't. We got a red light. So if you guys haven't seen the other episode, like there's actually a collision here. So you have to wait until it's green because you can't get through here. There's like an invisible collision when it turns red. Pretty cool. There we go, John Deere, Holland and Sons. Oh yeah. So we got to get a planter bought today. Maybe another tractor. Um, I want to get combine bought today. Maybe like a grain cart? Gosh darn, he's got a lot of handicap spots, which is good, which is good. But uh, it's kind of tough to find a spot to park. Well, how old you are, you should be able to park in them, can't you? Oh, good one. You want to come open the door for me so I can get out? You got to play a prank on Buck. If I play a prank on him, he might die. He's that old, okay? We were negotiating with Buck. We put his car in the handicap spot, take a photo of it, and say, hey, if you don't give us this price, we're going to show the town you parked in a handicap spot. Yeah, but I know him. He That's his baby over there. He don't just have the keys laying in it anymore. He learned after last time. You can blame Daniels for that. True. No keys in it. Okay. It's all good. Mr. Johnny Buck. How you doing? And my second favorite uncle. Oh, what do you two want? It's hard enough putting up with one of you for a day, let alone two. We're here to buy a tractor and a combine. And a planter, probably. You're here to buy it or try and smooth talk me into getting you a free one? Well... There's a difference. If you spend enough time with us and maybe take us out for a nice dinner and stuff, we'll maybe buy something from you. I've spent 65 years having to be standing by your side. I think I know you well enough. I'm not that stupid, and I'm not that old. Come on, we gotta work you a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well, what do we got going today? Because I know, Nate, we need to get you settled up with your stuff. Did you end up getting, uh, with our quota of 500 before trade? Did you end up deciding what you want to do with that? Yeah, we're going to change a couple of things. I think Uncle Grant's the better one to work with first. Let's say, we'll take care of you, Grant. What, what on... What all are we going to be getting for you? Because you obviously already got the uh, 9620T and then well, the 9630 and then that Tiger Mate. Well, I need a planter and I need a combine. A combine that could probably run an 8 or 12 row head, kind of right in that range. If it was like a year old or something, that'd be perfect. A used combine. Well, we might have something just special for you. It's sitting in the shop right now. Okay. 9770 STS. But... 9770 STS. That'd be perfect. How many horse? Mm -hmm more than you're gonna need okay and trust me you're gonna like this you might want to follow me well actually it's with this way 
Who the heck made this wraparound desk go all the way to the shop? It may or may not have a uh, little decal <laughs> work done to it. It's oh a bush light mobile. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, Why did you guys put this wrap on there? We didn't. Guy came and traded it in. Oh, was it... He uh, something a little bit bigger. Was it Corey? Over in Iowa? Over in central Iowa? Yes. Yes, it was. Why on earth he would get rid of this thing, I don't know. But it's now uh, back up for listing. We're just running through it right now since we just kind of got it in two days ago. So they're still kind of doing a final inspection on it all. Uh, how much are you selling it for? We have this thing right now at 210000 It's got 1,200 hours on the engine and 700 hours on the separator. Okay. That's not too so bad. it's been used. But she's pretty you, much pristine. What do you got for a corn head for it? Would you have a 12 row? I do have a folding 12 row corn head. Okay. I'll take, uh, wait, how much is a 12 row? Well, bro, I think I have listed out right now at about 45000 45000 Okay. Uh, Draper? What size Draper could it run? Or Beanhead, even? This thing could run a 40-foot, but I only have a 35 in stock. Uh, could you order me a 40-foot later? To my knowledge, as of right now, no. Market's tight. I can try to put in an order, but you're going to be better off getting one of those, because I don't know when okay. I can get it okay. to you. That's the problem. Okay. It's got Starfire prep, so it does not have GPS installed currently. It does have... Uh, the extended big top on the grain bin, so, yeah. on the top of the bin, so you do have that. I do believe you have LED lights that were swapped into it, so it's got a bit brighter of that. Uh, the tires are pretty pretty new in the back. I know those back tires have been replaced from what we were told. Obviously, with the wrap job on there, your paint condition's pretty good. And then it has been serviced, so all the belts and chains have been t like t tensioned and replaced if they need to be. Okay. It's got a CB in here. Green Star Ready, of course, right? 70 Series was Green Star Ready, you said? Yep, it's got the mount on there. All you need is the globe and the actual software itself. I'll take it. You throw in a Star a Starfire 3000 globe and a 2630 display, you got yourself a deal. Well, I'll have to look on our price sheet as to what that's going to cost you to get the Green Star put in there and pretty much programmed. I think that'll probably be, gonna be up to about 215 at the end of it. Okay. And if you include your, uh, your corn header, that'll be... What two hundred sixty thousand dollars? How much is it coming? Two ten. But if we put the if we put all the Starfire stuff on it, get it pretty much go re go field ready for you. It's going to be two fifteen. Okay. How much is the header? Forty five for the corn header, and if we can get you the Draper, it'll be about I think it's brand new thirty thousand. If you get a thirty foot header. Okay. 30, no, thirty five. It'd be thirty five thousand for the header. Okay. Two two fifty five for them all, besides the Draper, obviously. That I can do. Gotcha. You got yourself a deal, Buck. I was going to say, well, then what do you want to do with the bean header? Bean header, I'm going to find one later, I guess. I don't need it right now. Okay. Well, we'll at least get that figured out. What else did you need? I need a combine, maybe a tractor. That is the combine. Or, I, I need a, he needs another I, one, apparently. I need a planter and maybe a tractor. We have an 80, uh, 8130 right here. This is going to be your cheapest alternative. It does already have Starfire 3000 prepped on it, so you don't have to worry about any of that setup. This is obviously the cheapest option that we have at about 100. I think this one's listed at 175,000. Obviously, you can't get this big boy because it's got uh, 700 duels on it. But here we have an 8530, completely same thing. It's got GPS, Starfire. It's the whole shebang, premium seating. I believe it's also got CB pretty much set up in there, ready to go as well. This one is listed at uh, 240,000. Holy, okay. Is it, it as ILS? And power sh is it power shift this or is a IBT? Power, this, is a, this, is, this is a power shift one. Get and, off the roof, uh, Nate. Get off the tractor. No one said you could go playing on that. <laughs> but yeah, this will yeah, be yeah. obviously your most expensive option, but it's also going to be your most like already prepped and pretty much can do almost anything because it is obviously the most powerful of the 30 series yeah. unless you were to get it tuned. There is an 8430 over there, but your but our little our little cousin here is, or nephew is trying to buy that, possibly. What about the this 8410? 8410 right here. Is it for sale? 84, 8410 is for sale. The only thing about that one, though, is that we have this listed at 80000 so it is cheaper, but you're obviously going to be downgraded on power quite a bit because that one's only putting out 270. 8410 is, oh, man, does that mean that def crap and emission stuff, though? Very Less true, electronics. but you're down on power. That's it, the problem. It must have six or 7,000 hours at least on it, then, I'm guessing. Yeah, this is a 5,000-hour tractor. It has the power shift transmission in it, so you should be pretty familiar with that thing. The green star comes with it, right? Yep. Okay. That is already something that is... I don't believe that one's completely set up, but it has the globe on it. Yeah, this tractor's not bad. Really, big thing for us is road speed, 224 24 mile an hour. That'll work good. I mean, I think this is going to be a pretty solid tractor to have. 
It's got it's a little higher on hours with like four or five thousand hours, but for the price he's selling, the guy could get this an 8410, or he get an 8430. But the 8430 is like 200. What do you say? 220, a little over 200 thousand dollars. And this thing, this will probably outlast an 8430 too. I think we're gonna go with this. I'll take it, Buck. 80k. You'll take that. You got yourself a deal. I just need a planner now. Yeesh. Well, don't tell me you just sold one of these planners. Mackenzie has been sold. Oh my gosh, dude. You went, uh, you, that's to our what he, I told you. He was the one to our nephew. That. You're going to have to walk home, Nate. Well, to be fair, you might luck out at the auction because I've heard there is a planter that they're going up for sale out there, and I think it's a 24 row. Hey, Uncle, if you want to, you can buy it off me. It's only uh, 100,000. 100,000. Oh my gosh. There's so, a guy on Tractor House that want, has one for sale. I might try and buy. He has one just like this. What what do you end up selling it for, actually? 88. 88. The guy's asking 87 for it. I don't think it's in as good a shape, though. Oh, doesn't that one? Because I know this one has row cleaners. Does that one have row cleaners I, that you're looking at? It might not. It might not. Plus, I know there's also you can get like the... It's like Deer Smart Box, I think you can get for that thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, there's a lot of upgrades that can go onto this right here. Okay. This I, this is just the basic. I think the only thing advanced on this one is that it has the row cleaners up front. Gotcha. Yeah. How many acres Other does it have on it? Basic. That I couldn't tell you. Okay. So get everything straightened up here. You have eighty thousand dollars for the eighty four ten. Eighty four ten. Two fifty five for the combine head, and uh, you're gonna throw in a green star display and globe with it. Yes, sir. We'll get that one managed up. And then you're holding off on the planner. So you have $80,000 and $255,000, which by my quick math that I was never able to do, that is $335,000. And Correct? the family and friends discount? Haha, <laughs> nice try. What I can possibly do is $335,000. Yep. The only thing I might be able to get you is down to about $325,000. 325. That's about it. You got yourself a deal, Johnny Buck. And $325,000? There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. I cannot believe that you have carrying that much cash around. You are an absolute bonehead, but... Key, keys in them? Should be. <laughs> Does anybody... Who's gonna, Who wants to drive the combine home? I guess I'll drive the combine home. Who wants to drive the 8410? I'll drive the combine home. What? Hold on. I got you're that the, You're the guy that stole the planner from me. All right. Steal, and we nothing. just went... And I believe Good I also business. just got your check cashed through. Nate, did you, uh, did you right. cash your check too? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, Nate, get in the combine. Bring the uh, bring the twelve rows here. Excuse me, the thing's not ready to go. What? We have to get the thing prepped. Ah, oh, shoot. Sit in the shop let me for have a reason. Fun. Okay, it better be back at my place in a couple hours. Buck. I'll we'll get, get So on you're it. wanting it to be transported? Yes. Are you going to pick it up yourself, or we're gonna have to truck it? Be at my place in three hours, Buck. You do realize you I'm on the, the clock, deal. right? I can't just take get your stuff it. from here. I can't. We do expect that. greatness at John Deere. Okay, believe it or not, I stopped. Called the guy on Tractor House, picked up a magazine at the gas station on the way. He's got a Kinsey planter, so exact same as Nate's that Nate bought, but it's a it has liquid on it. And he's asking, actually I was wrong, he's asking a thousand dollars more than the one at John Deere, but has liquid fertilizer all set up on it. So I told the guy if he holds it, we're taking it. We actually got a cashier's check out of the bank, so that's why we're missing 80 grand right now. And I'm gonna buy this thing. So we're gonna take the Magnum down the road. It's about 15 miles, I'd say, down the road. Um, the guy has it for sale. It's a used planter, but we're going to get a bot here. So, we're taking the Magnum. I think the Magnum's probably going to go on the Kinsey planter. And then, most likely, the 8410 would probably go on a sprayer. And then, maybe some tillage, too. While the 9630T will be on the field cultivator. And then, we got to put an hydrus on, too. we got to get our, all of our fertilizer on. This guy's got a nice place. Yeah, this is really nice. Adams. It's the Adams farm, if you guys ever heard of, heard of them. Okay, so we got the planner bought. That deal worked out good. Gave him the cashier's check. This thing actually has some technology on it too, where as a variable rate drive, so we can variable rate seed, put like, you know, 30,000 and some marginal ground and up it to like 35,000 plants per acre and some, you know, really heavy, good ground. So there's all opportunities with this planner. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Gosh, that farm looks awesome up the top of the hill there. I'm liking it. I'm probably going to have to park this planner. We'll see if I can get it fit in here. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna fit. I doubt it's gonna fit. I guess I'll just park it outside for now. I'll just back up, park it next to the 9630. <laughs> Boosh. What did you do? <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Wait, wait, wait hold up, hold up. Is that gonna fit? Son of a gun? That's what he's testing. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the shed. Well, you're gonna be cutting oh. things off. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you might actually, you <laughs> oh, might. That is... You just might. 
Oh, oh I no, she's pushing now. Oh, are you scraping? <laughs> yeah, I was pushing. Can I ever put a folding hopper on it so I can fit it in the shop? I don't know. I got an uh, idea. No, our uh, high store is the one over there. That works too. <laughs> it fits. No, it fits. Uncle, Uncle Buck, I'm not the one getting this out of here. Just letting you know. Hang on a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, now it's in. You can't get it back out. There we go. We got the bush combine. I think that auction's next week. We'll have to head to that place. For sure. I know they got a handful of things. I think there's a tractor, actually. I'm going to try and get on, uh, get from my place. It's a small little guy. So we're going to have one of our fields is actually probably fit to plant. So we're going to try planting this. I'm going to have Nate run ahead of us. I'm going to purchase the soil sampling info for like four grand, which is super expensive, actually, to soil sample it. But that'll give us our soil types and everything we need to know about that field. And then we can apply nitrogen and liquid fertilizer based off that field. So that should be good. We got a field cultivate ahead of it. But we're going to go probably plant field 23. Nate, you want to run the field cultivator? Yeah, I can. Buck, do you have your 50, 50 20 in the plow still? Uh, I got. I don't have my. I don't have the plow anymore. But I got a little like disc plow. Okay, I got. Um, I got some grass down here that uh, landscapers here jump on the hood here. You can see it. It's cut through the field. I need to disc that up. You see right you where like that. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, it, it was all mess. If you want to disc who's that up, that'd run be great. Me, well, who's gonna run me back down to the dealer so I can get my car? I got you. I'll give you a ride. Hey, Nate, can you get the planter full of uh, liquid fertilizer? I got liquid fertilizer tanks back there. They're full. All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and get that done. And then I'm going to bring some seed back to fill that planter. All righty, I'll go ahead and have that, and then I'll head out to the field to get a start on you. Okay. If you guys see our money just went down, it's because Nate, I think, wrote a check for fertilizer. So fertilizer guys can come out and fill those uh, fertilizer bins. Green light. Let's go. Skirt. <laughs> yellow light, yellow light. Go on, get through it. Go on. Who the heck taught you how to drive? Your mom. Which is my mom. Well, she's your mom too. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no wonder. Mom always was a terrible driver. I know. I know. She was a good lady though. Get on her, Buck. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. I had to quick grab some food and gas at the gas station, and we're loaded down though. We got everything loaded down. Stopped at the Pioneer dealer, and she is a load and a half for the truck, but we're making her. I mean, she's squatting pretty darn good but we should make her back i just gotta take the curves a little slower with this thing because this is a heavy load just gotta be easy easy on the curves oh gosh buck's gonna have something to say about this oh gosh oh gosh keep her in, keep her in check oh she is squishy okay we made it here we should be set up and ready to go look at that kinsey planners lids come off themselves Okay, we should be good to go. I got the planter full of seed, and Nate should have it full of liquid. Yep, we got liquid fertilizer there. We're ready to go. I've never planned with this planter, but everything should be set. Hey, Nate and Buck, are you guys on CB? Yes, I am. On in. Okay, Buck, you know what to plow, plow up, right? Yep, right here. Okay, perfect. Nate, uh, you almost done with that field? Nowhere near. I had to do some adjusting on the concaves on it. Okay. So, trying to get everything dialed in. Okay, so in the wise words of Iowan farmer Ben Van Roekel, we're going to do some planter yoga. There we go. This is nice. I've never seen this. Planter is set up. We got liquid. We got seed. I'm going to check and make sure our depth is set good on the closing wheels. Looks good. Looks good. Depth looks good on the row unit, too. Okay, we're going to turn her on. Drop her down. And we are planting. It looks like everything's closing real good. Dig it up quick. Yeah, two and a quarter's good. I'm seeing some two and a half, two and three quarters. That's probably a little too deep. I'm gonna adjust the planter a little bit, shallow it up just a little more. Now, if we're corn, we're probably getting close, for, but for beans, that is, that's a little too deep. Especially since it's so warm out. Brad, you got a copy? Yep. Finishing up on that last strip here for the main chunk. I'm gonna do that little, like, for some reason, square end that's going on the left side of the driveway, do you want me to make the field get closer to the driveway at all, just like tear up closer to the road? You could a tad bit. Whatever you think looks nice, I'd say. No, I'll just kind of clean it up. Yeah, clean up any any loose ends over there. Buck, you got a bigger planter at all? I got an eight row. Does that count? Well, it'd be nice to have another 16 row. Honestly, this is going to take us a little bit. With, I can help you with my eight row, but that's all I have. Okay. I mean, you we'll see. 16, I got. 
There's an auction coming up here. I might buy another 16. We'll see. I think that guy's got a 24. Yeah, he's got a he's 24. He's got a 24? Row. Could an 8410 could an 8410 pull a 24 row? Uh, you, yeah, give or take. Okay. It sh it's got 270 horse. It should. Okay, so we're moving right along, but this thing, it's we're spinning like this tractor. Like we're spinning up these hills here. Like it's pulling hard. I've never seen a planter pull this hard, but I mean it's going. We're not putting on any nitrogen. We do have the full planter full. Once we switch to corn, we'll put on nitrogen. But it's kind of cool because you can see the little knives going ahead of the row. So we're putting nitrogen right down the row, right ahead of uh, right ahead of the planter. I literally can't pull. We're literally stuck on a side hill. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I mean, we're like literally spinning. Come on, come on. Okay, so we did the headlands. I got a sensor going off for one of these tubes here. It's got every sensor has a tube, or every tube has a sensor on it to tell me our population. One of them keeps reading bad. And I forgot my tool. It's a, it's a sensor cleaning tool that you stick down there to clean all the dust off and stuff so it can read better. It's at home and I don't want to ride over there. So I got to call Buck or something, somebody to pick me up or I can run over there. Yeah, I guess I'm going to sprint over there, back there, grab the tool so we can keep playing and actually follow population. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Next episode, we have an auction coming up. Hopefully, we can get another planter box because it's going to take us forever to plant. Check out Nate's channel down below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one.